if Jesus comes back, the Pope will be the first person to ask for his crucifixion again. Because he will disturb the whole business. That's what he was doing the last time he was here. What is the difference between a religion and a cult? It is a complex question. You will have to understand many things before the question can be answered. Religion is an individual experience. Only an individual can be religious. The cult is an establishment. It is an organization. It has nothing to do with religion at all. It exploits in the name of religion. It pretends to be religious. and lives on the past. For example, Christians will say they have a 2000 years past. But past is dead. It is a corpse. This is a very strange world in which we live. When Jesus was there, Jews could not accept him as religious. He and his followers were a cult. Jesus is a religious man. So there was the fragrance of religion around him. And those who were sensitive, available, receptive, came close to Jesus. This coming to Jesus was not a question of any intellectual conviction. It was more like a love affair. They simply fell in love with the man. The religious man never converts anybody. 
but his presence transpires many people to be with him a religious person has not followers but only fellow travelers it is impossible for a relig- religious person to insult somebody by calling him a follower when jesus was crucified then a strange thing happened that has happened to almost all the religions the same type of people who had crucified jesus the rabbis the priesthood the same type of people gathered around the dead religious phenomenon which was gone which was not there anymore it is just like a fragrance of a flower the flower is gone the fragrance lingers on a little and then it is lost religion cannot have a continuity it will always be individual here and there one individual becomes enlightened and suddenly people is start attracted towards him as if a magnetic force jesus is not an intellectual he is not even educated he is not a theologian he cannot argue for god or for religion in his all the teachings there is no argument they are statements a philosopher argues a religious person states the philosopher argues because he does not know it is through argument that he wants to come to a conclusion but the religious person knows it he states it it is a declaration and he also knows that there is no way to prove it no argument is going to be supportive to it but once that magnet disappears the priest is the most cunning part of humanity clever he is a businessman he sees the opportunity of a great business while jesus is alive it is dangerous to be with him no businessman will come close to him only gamblers
may risk and be with him. It is dangerous to be with him. He can be crucified, you can be crucified. But once he is dead, it is a great opportunity for business. Then a new kind of people start gathering around. Those are the priests, the popes, the imams, the rabbis, learned, scholarly, argumentative, dogmatic. They create the dogma, the creed, they create the cult on the dead body of a religious person, a cult is created. Christianity is a cult. Frederick Nietzsche used to say, And I feel that he has a tremendous quality of seeing certain things which others go on missing. The man was mad, but sometimes mad people have a very sharp intelligence. Perhaps that is the reason that they go mad. Frederick Nietzsche says that the first and the last Christian died on the cross 2000 years before. Since then there has been no Christian at all. And he is absolutely right. Jesus was the only Christian. Although he never knew the word Christian, he knew only Aramaic, the language which he spoke, and a little bit of Hebrew, the language with the rabbis spoke. But he had no idea of Greek. The word Christ is a Greek word, and the word Christian comes out of Christ. Jesus never heard in his life the word Christ or Christian. The Hebrew word for Christ is Messiah. So he knew Messiah, but once he died, and it is very strange that the people, when he was alive, overflowingly alive, and was ready to give, to share, to pour his being into your being. People were avoiding him. But once he was dead, the priests are not going to miss the opportunity. They immediately gather around the dead body of a Buddha, of a Jesus, of a Lao Tzu. And they immediately make the catechism 
they start making a church on the dead body. If Jesus comes back, the Pope will be the first person to ask for his crucifixion again. Because he will disturb the whole business. That's what he was doing the last time he was here. 